Instead, we have the opportunity to make a habit of empathy, to recognize ourselves and each other. My name is Wilson Riles. Um, I guess I'm more prominently known as a former member of the Oakland City Council, although I've also been a math teacher and a principal, and I've also been the regional director for the American Friends Service Committee here in the in the West. Um, my father is a former statewide elected official, a former state superintendent of public instruction, and it was kind of through his uh, name recognition that I was able to get on the city council and, and attempt to, to provide some public service for the community of Oakland. Okay, you and I have uh, kind of talked a little bit about uh, empathy and you know, I'm talking about how do we create a culture of empathy and you had some concerns about that. Would you like to share those concerns? Right. I, I think that the uh, culture of empathy, the skill of, um, of um, empath being empathetic to those around you is a critical skill uh, to us as human beings and our survival on this planet. I have no doubt about that, uh, that that's critical. Uh, my question is not about the issue of, of empathy. Uh, my question is uh, essentially how do we create a culture of em empathy? How do we influence the culture that we have, which is essentially anti-empathetic. Uh, it's a uh, culture that forces a focus on individuality and on competition and perfection, um, a number of things which make it very difficult for you to be empathetic to other human beings. How do you change that? Um, I'm aware that uh, people's culture develops over a long period of time and then it's also influenced by uh, very specific uh, uh, family experiences, developmental experiences, and so forth. So uh, it's difficult to just talk about empathy uh, and have people understand what it is and to test their own skills and abilities to, to be empathetic. Uh, I think it's uh, it's an experiential uh, testing of uh, relationships that has to happen. Uh, so it's kind of a, a question is, uh, my question is the process rather than the, the content uh, on empathy or the, the, the recognition of the power and the necessity of empathy. Um, it may require, I think, something in the nature of a, a deeper understanding of the history of this country, uh, of slavery, of depression, and of uh, uh, you know our um, uh, rejection of folks from outside of this community. Uh, the president today is going to talk about America being competitive. Uh, in regards to China and India and other rising economies around the world. That's a very unempathetic <laughs> approach to people in other parts of the world. We don't have to be better than everybody else by some outside measure. We need to be authentic in terms of who we are and uh, recognize and allow others to be authentic in terms of who they are. It's not a question of being better to anybody. So the competitiveness theme is flowing out of the White House and uh, clearly will be uh, taken up by others. And uh, we need to find a deeper way and a better way of approaching uh, building this culture of empathy. So one thing you seem to be concerned about was uh, that, it's all, that it could all be just talk, like let's all be empathetic and that there's not like an action component to it or something like that is one of the concerns? That is one of the concerns because I think there have been um, a kind of um, um, papering over or um, diminishment of a lot of our values um, essentially being co-opted. Uh, by the media, by um, you know the the louder voices in the community, and so we've lost an understanding of a lot of things because um, of, the, of the way that we went about uh, presenting them. We talk about nonviolence, for example, um, where if you listen to Gandhi, if you listen to King, nonviolence is a way of being. It's not just a 
tactic to use in order to accomplish something. Uh, and the strength of nonviolence comes out of that way of being. But you don't recognize that when people talk about nonviolence today. What people think it is is a, is a kind of re, uh, withdrawal from confronting uh, injustice. It's kind of a passivity in the sense of allowing yourselves to, to be uh, beat up or whatever, in a kind of a sacrifice kind of fashion. And that's, that's not at all what the, the true meaning of nonviolence is is so i'm a i'm i guess uh, hesitant and fearful that the same thing will happen to the concept of empathy that we'll put it out there will in some sense uh, some of us will understand what it really means but that it will get corrupted out there unless we can continue to hold it close and to work closely with folks and encourage their empathy in an experiential way rather than in just a, a kind of a, a language uh, definition kind of way. So the uh, building a culture of empathy is the experiential uh, part of it and what can we do for, for that uh, experiential component of empathy? Well, I mean, I think we have a number of institutions uh, that already exist around that. I mean, um, clearly, um, you know, the uh, many churches, particularly, I think the peace churches, would respond very strongly to uh, helping to build a culture of empathy. And I think they would go about it by beginning to work directly with folks within their own uh, community, their own you know, geographical area, folks that they would uh, work with, uh, you know, around both healing themselves around uh, empathy, because just because you're a member of a peace church doesn't necessarily mean you're empathetic. Uh, so uh, there's some internal work within our own institutions that would have to take place, and then our institutions, in working with others uh, in their area, would have to to work to actualize that. Um, you know, there's a um, concept of God where uh, we began the concept of God, particularly in the G.R. Christian uh, understanding of it, uh, with it was something that could not be named because you could not caps encapsulate the true meaning uh, in terms of an actual word because it was beyond logic. It was beyond the, the, what could be explained uh, with meaning. It's a form of communications uh, and understanding that is very internal. And in that sense, empathy, I think, is uh, similar to that. Uh, that you've, you've got to uh, guide people uh, in the way of meditation, in the way of, of Buddhism, uh, that, uh, you know, it's your own experience through which you find it. And all that anyone else can do is point at it. But the pointer is not the thing. Uh, the map is not uh, the thing. You've got to find it yourself. So there's got to be this kind of internal search and experience. And all we can do is guide folks and walk with them as they move forward. And, and so that's where I think the emphasis has to be uh, in terms of creating a culture of empathy. So it's kind of like everybody has to just start saying, well, this is what we want to do, and then begin their own internal journey to start doing it. Exactly. Uh, Stories become a very important, has, has been for human beings, I guess, since the dawn of time, the way of beginning to guide people and to move people forward. So we, um, most human traditions have, a wisdom, has, have wisdom stories. Uh, and these are stories that are constructed in such a way that every time you hear them, you learn something new and find something new because you, you bring yourself to the story and you become part of the story. And so you can always find something of value. So building the stories around empathy may, may be where we should focus. Okay, any final thoughts on empathy you'd like to share? Well, you know, I, I do think that what you were doing, uh, Robert, and what uh, those of us who are interested in this uh, can do uh, in terms of just beginning some focus on it is very important. 
but it should be a focus that, and, and I'm not saying that you're not, but a focus that uh, carries with it some humility that you are also exploring, we're also exploring, we're also deepening. There is not a point where you actually get there. It's a path that you're walking. And so you're inviting people to walk the path with you. And I, I really appreciate your doing that. See the world through other people's eyes. Now, empathy is a quality of character that can change the world. 